How about Brad Brock? Three appearances, three saves, and nine up, nine down. And joined now by Peter Schmuck from the Baltimore Sun. We appreciate you stopping by to rejoin us. Let's talk a little bit about Brad Brock and what he's meant here to the back end of the bullpen. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, Tom. And Brad Brock has, has basically been the comfort zone for uh, for for Buck Showalter right now with the Zach Britton situation. And I don't think I have to tell anybody who's been watching the games. He's been absolutely fantastic, especially the last three nights. Not just good, overpowering, dominant. It, 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 it really, even Zach Britton said uh, earlier today uh, that it really makes him feel like he can relax and take his time to come back because Brad's got this. And what a luxury to have uh, for a team like this that depends so heavily on its bullpen to have a guy who could step in and not miss a beat. Now, I'm not saying he's Zach Britton. And, and I'm not saying he can save 49 games in a row, but when he can come in here and buy this kind of time uh, for this ball club and, you know, reel off saves that are not suspenseful in the least, this is just a huge plus right now for this team. Now, Brock's in there because Zach Britton has been injured lately and is on the 10-day disabled list. An update on Zach Britton. Well, Zach Britton underwent a pair of MRIs yesterday, and according to everyone, uh, the, they turned out very, very well. Uh, the... Uh, uh, the team is is feeling a little more confident that Zach will be back relatively soon. Uh, they have a couple more hurdles to cross, another doctor to see, uh, but it, Zach could be playing catch in a few days. Uh, you know, someone asked Zach if if the you know he thought that he could be back that, that if 10 days, you know, the 10-day period was out of the question, and he said not necessarily. But I I gotta figure they're gonna take this real slow because because of Brad Brock, they don't have to go fast. They can let him have all the time he needs. Uh, to get back. And a lot of the people across America say the Orioles don't have enough pitching. What about the pitching over the last uh, eight games with seven quality starts? Just amazing. And the numbers within the numbers, Tom, uh, you know, eight quality, eight, seven quality starts in eight games. Uh, you have to take out that one anomalous game where Kevin Gosman gave up eight runs in two and two-thirds innings. Uh, that was a real struggle for Kevin. But even with that eight runs in two and two-thirds innings. In those eight games, the Orioles starting rotation has a 2.54 ERA. Take those eight runs out, take those two and two-thirds innings out. This starting rotation in the last eight days has a 1.15 ERA. Uh, obviously, that's fantastic, but then cast it with the expectations that people outside this organization and people around the country had put on this starting rotation going into spring training and coming out of spring training. It was considered by everybody outside of Baltimore to be a huge Achilles heel for this team. Now, not saying that they aren't going to have problems, not going to have issues. You have some, you have some starting pitchers, Ubaldo Jimenez. You don't know what you're going to get from day to day, but you do know he's capable of jacking up a huge game, and that's what he did his last time out. You have Wade Miley uh, coming off a, a, a nice finish last year, a couple of good games at the end of the year, has pitched very well. A little in, you're still figuring the thing out because each of his starts has been very different. But the last time out, his fastball command in Cincinnati was otherworldly. And if he can stay in that groove, what an asset for this team. Right now, they have, even, even in the absence of Chris Tillman, they have starting depth. Uh, you know, they're, they're going with Jason Aquino tonight. They've got uh, uh, Alec, Asher. Alec Asher, who who pitched very, very well. He's one of those quality starts. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but the Orioles are certainly enjoying what this starting rotation is giving them right now. Quickly, an update on uh, Chris Tillman. Chris is hoping to be pitching tonight in Harrisburg. Originally, they had him scheduled to pitch in Frederick, and then they looked at the weather report, and the chances of getting his innings in in Frederick looked dim. They considered postponing uh, his outing, and then they realized that Buck really wants to stay with that goal of May 2nd for him to return to the starting rotation. Maybe he gets there, maybe he doesn't. But they shifted over to Harrisburg, and they're hopeful the weather will hold in Harrisburg so he can get in his outing tonight. Always good information from Peter Schmuck from the Baltimore Sun. We appreciate his uh, time here being with us on O's Extra.